إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا فيهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد my dear brothers and sisters we are in days of trials trials in our health trials in ourselves, trials in our life, trials the way we live, trials after trials. Our brother Adil, his friend, good friend, brother Jadr, rahimahullah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to Ufi, so please make dua for him. نسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى أن يغفر له وأن يدخله الجنة ويقيه عذاب النار وعذاب القبر أمين يا رب العالمين وجميع أموات المسلمين uh, Brother Miguel and I forgot the name of another brother uh, has corona tested positive for corona as brother Abu Sumeya uh, told us so please make dua for them also. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to heal them and to heal anyone who has corona and to make it, inshallah, a mean of purification from their sins. Brothers and sisters, we are to reflect on today and these days in general. Qala ahad al من هنأ عبدا أو رجلا بمعصية أو بدعة أو كفر فقد تعرض لسخط الله وعقابه anyone who congratulates anyone with a disobedience an innovation or an act of disbelief, he has exposed himself to the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his punishment and his anger. And it amazes me that you see some people congratulating with the holiday and congratulating in a way they represent or they're trying to show kindness or kindness of Islam and they are too far away from understanding Islam because the kindness of Islam is not in disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the kindness of Islam is in understanding and applying the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I cannot be kind with someone I see him committing zina or drinking alcohol and say congratulations brother because I want to be kind with him and show him the kindness of Islam. Well, if you can agree, and we all can agree on this, you can do that. So I don't see how you can come and congratulate someone that he claims this is the birth of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or the son of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly said, In Surah uh, Al Kahf, Wayundir al Ladina Kalu Tahab Allah Walad. A clear warning from those who claim that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a son. Malahum bihi min ilmin wala li abaihim. Neither them nor their forefathers have any knowledge of this. Kaburat kalima. What a huge word. Takhruju min afwahihim. 
emits out of their mouths. إِيَّقُولُونَ إِلَّا كَذِبًا They say nothing but a clear lie. كَبُرَتْ كَلِبًا وَنَحْنُ وَلِلْأَسَفْ صَغُرَتْ كَلِمًا تَخْرُجُ مِنْ أَفْوَاهِنَا فِي هَذِهِ التَّهْنِئَةِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yaqul kaburat kalima wa yundhira alladhina qalu wa nahnu naqul ihna bas yani hadhi mawadda wa bir wa taqarrub wa ma ila thalik Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying what a huge lie comes out of their mouth and we are making it a huge way of calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling you don't get near that and you invite people to that so they can love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What a misunderstanding of the religion. What a contradiction of the religion. I don't care what's your intention. I don't care what you mean. The time is wrong. The saying is wrong. The way is wrong. It never happened with our four predecessors. The Prophet ﷺ was the best in dealing with Muslims and non-Muslims and pagans and Christians and Jews. Never said that. The Sahaba radiallahu anhum, the four Khalifas were the same. Never said that. The companions never said that. Not a quote from the Tabi'een or the Prophets or the Sahaba or anyone ever mentioned anything you can do that gets close to even that. And all of a sudden we hear fatwas. Well, it's okay. If you don't have the intention, it's okay if you want to bring them closer. It's okay. There is a difference. There is a difference between being just and being a disbeliever. You cannot congratulate with a disobedience. How can you congratulate with an act of kufr? I'm talking about people who pray five times a day and people who come and hear lectures and people sometimes they give fatwas and they tell you that or okay that. And some of them with a lame excuse if you can marry from them, how come you cannot say this? Well, they don't know what are the conditions of the marriage. The same one who allowed you to get married, he told you not to say this. And the same one who told you to get married or allowed you to get married, he told you that you can impose the rules that you want on the wife. And the one who told you to get married with this simply allowed you certain things and prohibits you from certain things. So if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives the permission for something, doesn't mean everything is open. And the ayah that no people or hardly almost every people, knowledgeable people and less knowledgeable people, confuse one another about it, which is the ayah, لا ينهاكم الله عن الذين لم يقاتلوكم في الدين ولم يخرجوكم من دياركم أن تضروهم وتقسطوا إليهم إن الله يحب المقسطين. There is a difference between bir and there is a difference between mawadda. Bir is to congratulate graduation, success, new business. Uh, to come and uh, I mean, a newborn baby, to go and visit the sick, to go and help them in calamities. If someone died for them, you go and you give them condolences, uh, to visit with them, to talk with them, and things like that. This is good, and this is not only good, but very good. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to do that. But when you come and you tell someone, congratulate someone for something, what does that mean? You cannot think of anything but you agree and approve on what you are seeing and that's why you congratulate. 
So I don't know. Uh, yani you read some posts and you receive some questions and you hear some fatwas and you go subhanallah we play with the rules of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the way we want and the way we like and we are doing everything possible to make people attracted to Islam you don't attract people to Islam by opposing Islam Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't want that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't want you or me or anyone. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't need anyone. In takfuru, فَإِنَّ Allah غَنِيٌّ عَلْكُمْ مَعَ السَّلَامِ You want to disbelieve? مَعَ السَّلَامِ لَرَدَّكَ اللَّهِ بِدَّكْ تُؤْمِنْ أَهْلًا وَسَهْلًا حَيَّاكَ اللَّهِ هَذَا يَعْنِي قَوْلِ اللَّهِ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى إِحْنَا نَأْمُرْ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَنَنْهَى عَنِ الْمُنْكَرْ و ندعو العاصي وندعو للعاصي في الهدايه وندعو للكافر في الهدايه لكن الله سبحانه وتعالى انا اقول الله سبحانه وتعالى قال ان تكفروا فان الله غني عنكم ولا يرضى لعباده الكفر he doesn't want you to disbelieve but if you insist you want to disbelieve مع السلامه this is Allah سبحانه وتعالى saying so when 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 someone يعني comes and and does that try to يعني, do you know the, the the orthodox Christians and the uh, uh, orthodox and uh, the Catholics you know they don't congratulate each other on Christmas do you know when the Baba the Pope came to Egypt the Shnuda, the Christian uh, representative, did not meet him at the airport. Why? Because he came, Christmas time, congratulation, and they disagree. And he clearly said, difference in creed. So difference in creed and clearly said, but for you, it's no problem. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala قال, and I conclude with this, وَقَالُوا اتَّخَذَ الرَّحْمَنُ وَلَدَ لَقَدِ جِئْتُمْ شَيْئًا إِدَّا أي يعني أسوأ أنواع الكذب لدرجة تكاد السماوات يتفطرن منه وتنشق الأرض وتخر الجبال هدّا the earth, the sky, the mountains are about to get crushed from this word that they said Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and da'ul al-Rahmani walada that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have a son. Wa ma yambaghi. Look at the, look at the, yani, reasoning of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa ma yambaghi lil-Rahmani ayya taqida walada. It's not fitting for Allah to have a son. Why? إِنْ كُلُّ مَنْ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ إِلَّا آتِ الرَّحْمَنِ عَبْدًا Everyone on earth serves him. Everyone on earth is his slave. And we said it before. Why do you have a son? Because you are weak. You are imperfect. You need help. You need to satisfy your lust. You need to have someone to carry your name. That's why you have a son. Why would Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala need a son? Everyone is his. Picture yourself. And think about it. And all I can say is for the scholars and for the students of knowledge and for the friends and for the family. Ittaqullah. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Have to call Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If him ma Know what you're saying. Don't say the word and act like you don't understand. Any congratulation is affirmation for the other person on the thing that they are doing. So if you think that it's okay for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have a son, go ahead and congratulate. 
and call yourself what you want to call yourself. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik ashadu an la ilaha illa an astaghfiruka wa atubu alaykum assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.